and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some zillion timelines. Our next meme tier Monday deck. Um, this one's going to be a concurrent timelines deck with zillion making a whole bunch of time bombs and we're gonna have a whole lot of card draw in here and really showing off xenotype researchers besides zillion xenotype researchers is going to be a big part of this deck um, granting three random allies in your deck plus three plus three because then we're going to have lots and lots of card draw and predict and be able to go find those allies that are going to be buffed um, we're also going to have counterfeit copies, which can do a couple of different things. It can either copy like the time bombs and get more time bombs in our deck, or we can even copy Xenotype Researchers to get more of those. Or if we found a card that was buffed up once or twice from Xenotype Researchers and we have like a really buffed unit, then these are exact copies. So we can put more copies of that card in our deck. Um, Hourglass is going to help protect Zillion and also reset um, Xenotype Researchers, right? Um, because it is a summon ability. We'll also have Iterative Improvement that can copy Xenotype Researchers. So we have all of that. Um, but then also, of course, we are going to be uh, trying some uh, concurrent timelines to take some of these other units and turn them into something better. We'll have um, like Soothsayer, for example, is like usually a two mana one four that, you know, when I'm summoned, grant allies, champions, and landmark spell shield. That's cool. You know, give Zillion spell shield. But then you just have like this generic one four that's not very good. So maybe if we have... Uh, concurrent timelines then we can make it something a lot better basically we can like you know maybe help give some of these units some keywords and stuff like that as far as like in some card draw in here we got so um besides just our, our normal things to draw cards we have insightful investigator whenever we play our two cost card we draw one give it fleeting that could be um, pretty awesome as you can see we have tons and tons of twos but then also remember all the time bombs that we create in our deck are also going to be two mana cards so each time bomb would like draw one for being a time bomb and then also draw another one fleeting um, with the investigators so that's a, that's a way to get a lot of card draw in the deck sometimes you have too much card draw in this kind of deck especially if you have a level up zillion and so if we have too much card draw we can um, just play the investigator first and you know have it timelines to turn into something else right like if we don't really need the investigator body we can you know have it timelined away from something else if we want the investigator body though we can just play like a soothsayer first and then investigator because remember the timelines only does the first follower each time so all right so that's going to be our deck let's go ahead and get to it and let's see how we do with zillion timelines Okay, so we got a deck that's going really, really big. Which is probably a bad sign for us. Because we want to just like sit around and like do nothing all the time. Basically. Right, like we just want to sit around and like play a bunch of time bombs, draw a bunch of cards. Buff up some stuff. Kind of not really do anything. But... If our opponent just plays like huge Aurelian Soul, feel the rush type stuff and then kills us, we don't really stop that from happening. Okay. Now, when am I? Make haste. Remember, you don't have to play concurrent timelines immediately. play one insightful investigator out that's why I didn't want to timelines because <clears throat> I didn't want to yeah this is gonna be a very bad matchup Mm. 
Wow. Powered out. Up there in the mountains. Mm. Try to think if I want to counterfeit copies the Xenotype researchers and get more of them in the deck. You don't get any kind of summon ability or anything like that. I'm just going to grab the life steal. I should probably be waiting a turn. Okay, cool. Because <clears throat> I did just burn that extra card that we should have grabbed. So I, I should have wait, waited a turn to have more mana to play that. But it's just that static shock, which, which we don't really need. I don't know, Bubble Bear? Be a 3 9 elusive? Whatever I choose is going to get plus 3 plus 3. So we can either have a 6 6 with Avaros and Trapper or a 3 9 elusive with Bubble Bear. Um, I guess. I guess probably a 6 6. Clever. I just improvised the instructions you drafted. That's not good. All right, finally getting some time bombs. Yeah, they're just going. This is a tough matchup. They're just going too big for us. Right, like we need to we need to play against decks that are pretty small, because we can sit around and do cool stuff, but we're not we're not going to handle a really soul. So. That's just the way it is. Our behavior. We can't we can't kill an early soul. Like it's just not possible for us to. So I don't we don't have any chance of winning. The constellations bow to me. So I could sit here and, and play the game for a while and just kind of do some stuff, but our chance of winning is zero percent. We have we have a lot of decks to take. They're playing long games today, so and I'm just gonna move on to the next game. You know, like we're playing a meme tier deck, right? We're not trying to play the uh, like the, a top tier deck or anything like that. But meme tier decks usually have some holes, right? Like they usually have something that they're not good against, and we're not good against very large units. And unfortunately, we played against Aurelian Soul, and now unfortunately, we're playing against Brawls. So, not getting helped out at all with our pairings. If I iterative improvement a thrall, the thralls do cost eight mana. 
course, as you probably know, with Lissandra, they are eight mana cards. So I would have to spend, you know, eight mana to be able to play <laughs> the uh, the new thrall. Uh, no, so iterative improvement only affects followers, so not not champions or landmarks. I can't get my own landmark. We don't have that many units in our deck total. We have 21, no, 18, 18. So we have 18 totals. So we've already drawn one, two, three, four, five. So we've already, oh, plus this other zillion right here, six. So we've drawn six of the 18. So there's only 12 left. And so with those 12, they've gotten six plus three plus threes. So that's kind of the good part about finding these um, Zonite Urchins and drawing them right now is that these Zonite Urchins won't be getting the plus three plus threes. That's new. So now those 12 units have um, nine plus three plus threes for us to try to draw into and find. It's good that we had this rummage so like it stopped and so it kind of pretended like we had something that we we're maybe gonna do. bombs we got a four seven zillion I think we're gonna just take the time bomb time magic is worthless if it cannot undo the past it can still create hope for the future for the future Yeah, 18 9 is a wonderful score with any deck. That's a, yeah, that's a, a, a great, that's an amazing win, right? What will you have? Alright, so we have tons and tons of time bombs. Don't know exactly how it's going to help against Lissandra. We don't have any ways to kill a Lissandra in our deck. But we're going to have lots of time bombs. Wow, the Merciless Hunter is just a 4 3. Didn't get buffed at all. 4-3, not quite big enough to kill the Lissandra. We still haven't seen any of our things that got buffed. None of them yet. The good news is, like, the Ice Shards and... Like, we're hoping that Ice Shards and lots of Time Bombs can take down 8-8s. Eight <laughs> it's not a great hope, but that's what we're hoping. All 
All right, level up Zillion. I really hope this works and we can kill Lissandra. No, Riot is not upset with people winning more than average. No, not at all. Just work. I haven't beaten this Frozen Thrall deck in like three weeks. Uh. Alright, so that's gonna kill Zillion. Kills all their thralls though. So now, just gotta find our other Zillion. Our other Zillion got the plus three, plus three. I don't know, do I want to make one of those things? I guess I could. Seems like a good blocker. I think it's probably my best blocker. Crying Sands. That can go. Another Xenotype, yet again another unit that isn't buffed. So we have 10... Yeah, 10 units left in our deck that have now 12 plus 3 plus 3s on them. Unfortunately, they're going to have the Watcher, though. So. <clears throat> I guess we're kind of dead to this Watcher thing. Because obviously they could just make another 8 8 here. That'd be their fourth 8, eight power th or 8 mana things, Clock Can. So, my chance of winning this is finding a Zillion. I mean. My chance of winning this is zero, to be fair. But if I rummage twice and we find our third zillion, then we can put time bombs back into the deck. Yeah, I mean, this, this is just the exact, like these, you know, Watcher, Aurelian Soul, our deck can't handle these cards. Right? Like, that's why we're a meme deck. Like, we can't. We can't handle Watcher and Aurelian Soul. No shame in it, that's just how it is. We grabbed our Zillion. Excuse us. 
We just can't we can't do 14 damage to them though, even though I'm putting four time bombs back into the deck. I can't do can't do that much damage to them. We're gonna have to get different pairings. <laughs> We're 0 7 today. It's possible we don't win a game today. That's honestly very possible. Okay, so Karma and Legion Marauders. Can we handle those things? Can we handle Legion Marauders? That could be kind of tough. We'll see. That was pretty disappointing, though, right? Because we, we really did our thing with Xenotype Researchers, getting three Xenotypes early and then another one, and we drew a ton of cards afterwards and didn't get any, like, cool buffed-up units. So that was very disappointing with the Xenotype. Victory requires a sharp blade. For glory. <laughs> It. Figure it'd be good to draw cards after Xenotype, but I also wanna I wanna copy Xenotype and get another one. I'll cut them apart. Excuse us. Okay, so this worked out pretty well. Wow, they quick. So we're gonna have our 4 4 killer 3 2, and they gave up. Yes, we got a win. How about that? That worked out well. Yeah, that's true. We could have Babbling Beard draw buffed up things with. Zillion. I'm oh, sorry, with Xenotype Researchers. Okay. We're going to play another kind of similar deck. Mulligan the spells. Look for our Xenotype Researchers. No, concurrent timelines and Xenotype work fine together um you'll put you'll get the plus three plus three buff whenever you get your new unit but concurrent timelines doesn't necessarily need to be in our deck yeah so yeah k realms you're pretty new new here um and wondering what to spend your resources on this game, just like uh, Cirque said, this game is very generous with more resources. So if you have something that you're really going to enjoy, go ahead and spend your resources on it. You know, if, if you find a deck that you're really going to like, and then you know you'll be playing it. And while you're playing it, you'll earn enough resources for the next deck. So don't you don't have to worry about like missing out on something else because you'll um, you'll get your resources for it before for the new one before you know it. Make sure with your region rewards that you are moving, that you're leveling up every single region on your regional rewards together and not just staying in the same region, unless you only want to play one region, I guess. But don't just stay in the same region because it gets the higher, the more, the higher up you are on the, on levels, the more difficult it is to, um, go to the next level. So it's good to level them up together. 
All right, so we found Merciless Hunter as a 7-6. That's interesting. So I kind of want to play like something like where then I can play Merciless Hunter afterwards. And I think that's maybe just like Julian. Six six investigator, I will take that. This specimen's chromophores prevent tissue denaturation. We love it when they run. Probably just discarding this grinding sands to the rummage. Ruination, of course, is a card. Have to play around it a little bit. Just a little bit. That's what I'm talking about. What do you make of that? I'm not sure. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, of course. Okay. You can use that concurrent timelines. Because I can either have investigator if I want or or not. Yeah, celestial decks are definitely really powerful. And the other thing to think about, though, is is remember that at the end of the month, in only like eight or nine days, the um, the metagame is going to completely change. We're getting a new expansion, and they're going to be doing a lot of card balance changes. So I would I would recommend probably waiting just a little bit for that to all happen before um, before using a bunch of resources. more 4-4 four, four Xenotypes in our deck. So we can keep Xenotyping. Let me grab the Time Bomb, though. And uh, Arena Bookie? Do I, want, I don't want Arena Bookie, do I? No. Round start, discard your lowest cost card to draw one. I'd basically be... Like the investigators and stuff, and then start drawing other ones. I don't think I want that. I'll just take this. I don't want to meet whatever wolf you are. I don't know. That's kind of risky. And that would mean... <laughs> we draw infinite cards. That's what that means. The facts fall into place. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get a fleeting card here that just gets burned. So the Preservarium. Oh, I don't have the one mana to rummage. Oh, I thought I had one more mana left. I was going to do that and then rummage away these two fleeting cards. Reconsider. And turn them into non-fleeting cards. But that's okay. Ne neither one is that important. But, you know, like the Preservarium would draw a lot more cards with this Insightful Investigator, but that's okay. We'll get some card draw. We'll be fine. Okay, let's see. Attacking sounds cool. By force of will. Kind of thinking they're gonna like rekindle her.
Zillion. I'll get a fleeting card I can't play. I think I'll gonna wait till next round and get the fleeting card next round. So Ride Negation helps out a lot more than Deny here, because Ride Negation can actually counter like all all aspects of that. Like they go Withering Whale. Whale. We counter both Withering Whales. With Ride Negation. Get some time bombs. Time bombs. The KPI is depending on me. So I can cast Mystic Shot to draw a Time Bomb. I'm gonna let that happen. But I am gonna cast the Mystic Shot while that's gonna happen and grab the Time Bomb. Saucy! What's up, everybody? Coming in from Saucy Stream. Welcome, everybody. Uh, so we're we're doing some meme tier stuff today. Not getting like the most wins. <laughs> we're one in seven on the day, but that's all right. We are uh, doing some cool stuff, including. Let's see. Let's get a parade electro rig. Could put a bunch more zillions in the deck. I don't know if I want that. I guess we'll just grab the this thing. Carefully, researchers. There's no rush. Yeah, you're playing Zillion Gangplank? Alright, there you go. Um, I guess I could Chronomancer. Yeah. I, mean, I don't have like that 2-drop now for the Investigator, but this will find another 2-drop for us, like Preservarium. This will let me open attack. We're going to Time Bomb. <clears throat> now get a sweet open attack going. This ride of negation is going to be clutch. I hope they play two Withering Whales and a Vile Feast right here. Just tap out. Just spend all your mana. Play a whole bunch of stuff. They did use one Deny earlier on a Mystic Shot to kill a Karma. There you go, Harvey. Harvey. There you go. All right, my. Okay, so they played Withering Whale, just one. Well, let's see. I guess I could just let that happen. Ah, that kills kills the Zillion. I wonder if they're going to have some Bilgewater buffs with these. Man, I'm just so excited for the uh, card balance patch changes that, that are going to happen in a week. I'm excited about all the stuff that could happen. Alright, Zillion's still alive. Actually, you know what? I'll just play this. I know I don't get that extra fleeting card, but there we go. That's why. Get our leveled up zillions. We can have even more xenotype researchers. Because that's all our deck's doing, is, is um, just trying to make a whole bunch of xenotype researchers and get everything to be super buffed in our deck. We've already, like, this was from counterfeit copies created the Xenotype. Okay. 
Okay, we can make it an elusive. I don't think we've cast a six plus cost spell for that. We'll just make it an elusive. I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. Oh no. Karma also making tons of cards. Might as well play Scrying Sands. Get this predict going. We have a 710 Soothsayer. Or more time bombs. I mean, it's just more time bombs. My mom is just the correct answer. It draws a card. Ooh, Ancient Hourglass. Turn it like so. Such naivete. No key here in the deck, nope. I think there's gonna be lots and lots of changes. No, but no, they they of course haven't announced it's gonna be changed. It'll be announced, you know, at at the time. They wouldn't announce it yet. Um if I hourglass that. If I hourglass it, it saves it. Yeah, we'll do it. Keeps them from healing their nexus for six. Oh man, I. <laughs> JJ just said my worst nightmare. JJ's like. Time bombs? Like, we love the play pattern of Watcher, as well as no counterplay win conditions. We, we've learned that a ton of players love it too. We want to keep the feel of the deck intact. And that would be a nightmare. Too bad. They knew that if I played another time bomb, I'd be able to kill it. Ooh, a ramping wolf. Ramping wolf's cool. Carefully, researchers. There's no rush. Ooh, big zillion. Probably about time to play the Insightful Investigator. Oh, no, no, oh, no, because oh, I need to play something else first. What am I doing? Investigating officer, unit six. Whoops. You got to play the other unit first and then Insightful Investigator because the concurrent timelines. Yes, yeah, so that just counts as a go hard. That's busted. Um, who am I saving? I guess I saved the 14 no it doesn't fizzle them The is depending on me
Yeah, I think I think that's my plan right now. Just play ten ten time bombs. Seems like the best plan. I got 18 cards left. They got 33. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They're gonna have more heal. They're gonna need more than 10 time dump. More than 10 time bombs. At least the opponent's honest, right? Like, our, our losses with this deck have been to Watcher and Aurelian Soul, because we can't handle big things. So, like, at least they're playing a little bit more of an honest game with Karma than Watcher and Aurelian Soul that just, like, end the game. I think Karma's fine. Especially at six mana. I think I think it's perfectly fine as is. I don't think it needs a rework. They have 10 cards in hand, they gotta play something. Alright, we need some time bombs. Oh, I would absolutely change early and soul if I could. Yeah, I. Why does it really? I. It that I don't like that card. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't like a lot of the Targon Celestial stuff myself. It just seems completely unfair. But I wouldn't change Karma, but yeah, I would change early and soul. Um. Getting a getting a absolutely free celestial card every single round, and and also getting one at the time, and and spell shield. What one of those three things I would get rid of? I don't know which. You know, I, I could be talked into any of those three, but I'd get rid of one of those three. They're gonna have lots of nexus healing. Unlikely we're gonna have time bomb lethal, but that's gonna kind of be the the plan. We just play a bunch of time bombs. You can have a strong champion, like, I understand te Aurelian Soul's 10 mana, you can have a strong champion without having it do all the stuff that Aurelian Soul does. Like, like Trindamir only costs 2 less mana and Trindamir does nothing. Where Aurelian Soul does everything. Like, there's... There's some kind of problem with those two statements. Um, I think I'm just... I think we just pass and let this... Time bomb happen because obviously I want I want the zillion in play whenever I'm casting these other time bombs to make more of them. I guess if I would have played the time bomb, I would have drawn into Xenotype, and I had I had exact five I had exactly five mana. That would have actually I would have been able to win the game with just attacking with the Xenotype. So would have just won the game, and now it looks like I'm gonna lose it. Yep. I, yeah, Harrowing's a card. Well, I guess, you know, like that, yeah, that would have, that would have been an out. If I would have just played the Time Bomb, I would have drawn, you know, I would have had exactly three mana left, drawn the Xenotype, and of course the Time Bomb would have killed all their stuff. Yeah, I would have won. That's a feels bad. That's a feels bad. 
now there isn't anything I can draw, right? If I play this for a blocker, three blockers doesn't get it done because we take 14, we're at 11. No, there's nothing I can draw. That's frustrating. Yeah, I, yeah. Might as well just uh, play this and just see what the other card is that we draw. See what's there. Yeah, I, I could have won that. Oh, that would have been a good out. A.B. Carter thought of something that I didn't think about, that if I would have played the Xeno... Because I forgot about timelines. If I would have played the Xeno type right there, maybe we had a lifesteal unit. You know, like the lifesteal, like, 3-2. That we've hit a couple of times. That actually would have been an out. Yeah, I should have done that. That's frustrating. I could have won that. Yeah, even with them having the go-hard instant pack your bags and stuff. Okay, we got Katarina LeBlanc. Should be able to handle some Katarina LeBlanc, I think. With a bunch of time bombs. Demacia. So Demacia will have fight spells. Xeno time. Anyone hurt? <laughs> Gotta imagine they have protection. That's new. You're provoking it. Crows will have what's left. Plenty for all. Excuse us. Yeah, Demacia is great against Piltover and Zon. Like, you, you have great protection in Demacia, which is very good against Piltover and Zon removal. Investigating officer, Unit 6. What do we got here? Good hand, opponent. Damn. Yeah, good hand. Guess we lose. Uh, is there enter? <laughs> I mean, yeah. The the point of the deck is just to, to play Xenotype researchers a whole bunch, and then a whole bunch of time bombs, and, right? And just draw draw lots of cards and do those two things. That's that's the that's the whole point of the game, or the whole point of this deck. And it and you know like that's why it's just a meme tier deck, right? Like it's not we're not expecting to get like lots of wins and stuff, but um. You know, and then we we have all these two drops and in investigator to draw into our deck and and things like that. Um, all right, so there we go. So that was Zillion timelines. The timelines maybe isn't really necessary. I know, like that's kind of like the name of the deck and everything, but maybe you don't really need the timelines. It, it it's um, you know, maybe if we if we have like some larger like some more expensive units, but since we have everything. One, two, three, and then like a couple four mana units. We, we're not really timelinesing into anything good with just like two drops and stuff. I do like timelines with Soothsayer, but you know, maybe like just the, the rest of the deck. Maybe you just don't really need timelines, but um, yeah, this kind of deck just doesn't have. You're not going to have removal for. You're, you're not going to have ways to stop like the really large decks. You know, you're really in soul. You're. Um, uh, Watcher, stuff like that. Like Ruinations would kind of be nice in this kind of deck. Um, even like the we've played against we played against a couple of Marauder decks 
or like harrowing, right? Like how do we, we don't really stop harrowing, right? So like those those super big late game splashy cards, we're not stopping those at all. So you just you kind of have to hope that you're playing against the smaller decks, right? Like your your aggro decks and and things like that that don't have those really big huge bombs. Unfortunately, that's all we played against though, and so we went one and four. So, um, so there we go. All right, uh, but that's going to be it here for Zillion Timelines. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. If you got any ideas for how this deck can beat, you know, Watcher or really in Soul or anything like that, feel free to put them in that comment section because I don't really know how it would. But I, I do really like, you know, Insightful Investigator, Time Bombs, Zillion. Like, there's some cool stuff there. Like, you can get a whole bunch of card draw. But I just don't know how you handle, like, the, the real late game powerful stuff with these regions. Anyway, that's going to be it here for this deck. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.